Spencer Lewis here for the Peterborough Speedway YouTube page. We're talking about the 2013 edition of the Autumn Colors Classic. It's coming up before you know it. And I'm here with the driver of the number 35 machine representing Sunset Speedway. The instant classic Andy Cameron. And Andy, I gotta tell you, my friend, there is not a driver in the province that has come closer to winning the classic and not been able to seal the deal than this number 35 team. I know it, it's gotta be eating, eating you alive to know how close you've been the last couple of seasons. Tell me what you're bringing the 2013 edition. Uh, well, last year we took the uh, our old limited late model and ran it as a pro late model. And then um, same thing, we took the Mustang, ran it as a limited late model, ran really good with the Mustang. Led up until lap 73 and had a right rear tire go down. And then um, pro late model, got wrecked on the second heat race. Ran really good in the feature and then ripped uh, right rear trailing arm out. So uh, every year we go down there, got awesome cars. Sean gives me an awesome car. and. Uh, just so now you're coming back to do double duty again this year. So you're going to join Sean Chenoweth, Chris Mitchell, and Gord Shepard. Have been the three drivers before you that have all confirmed they're doing double duty. So you're going to be the fourth driver coming in with two cars. When we spoke last season, you said it was the most physically taxing thing you've ever done, racing two cars in one day. And you sort of alluded that it's probably it wasn't something on, on your high on your list of priorities of ever doing again. How did it come about that, uh, that you're going to do the whole thing all over and, uh, and bring two cars back to the Classic? Well, Sean's car's been running really, really good. And, you know, we're having good success down here, running third in points right now. And um, the car is better right now than it ever was. And uh, I think going back to the autumn colors, we're, you know, we're going to run at the front again. I'm not going to say we're going to run at the back. We're going to run at the front again. The pro late model I had that at Varney. Ran it as a pro late model setup. Um, ran really good at Varney, won that race. and. Uh, I'm going to get geared up and it's nice to get that old car out and see if we can sell it. It's a good piece and uh, I think we could run right with them. Pro late model main event, 113 laps. Limited late model main event, 75 laps. The cars at the end of the day are really quite similar. The caliber of talent is identical through the two divisions. Is the strategy going to be the same for both races? Um, you know, the limited late model, it's 75 laps. Um, both cars got built motors. You got to you got to save the regular tire, but at the same time, um, you know, limited late mile, 30, 40 laps in, okay. You know, it's go time. Or if you're running at the front, you just got to keep that pace and forever long you got to be. Now, the pro late model, 113 this year. 113. So 113 laps. Belt motor, run the first 60 easy, you know, get out of the wrecks. Um, maybe get her to the front a little bit, you know, so you're not in the wrecks and just cruise. And then, then you know, last 20, 25 laps when nobody else got tired left and maybe give them a run for it. Now, when you look at, at guys that we can expect in the limited late and pro late model division, who's one driver in each class that you're going to have your eye on all weekend long? Pro late model, definitely Chenoweth. We're going to have to meet him. You know, we're going back toe to toe again. Uh, he said he wanted a rematch. So, uh, and then limited late model, Tommy. Tommy's going to be one guy to beat. Every year we go there, he's going to be a good, uh, good guy. Mitchell's been running good. Um, he'll be, you know, a couple of the home track guys. Uh, you know, Mitchell's a big one that stands out to me. Um, Former Autumn Colors Classic winner. Yep, he, uh, he uh, got one away from me a couple years ago. So, uh, you know, those two guys I think are going to be the two to, two to go for. It's not possible without a lot of support. And I, I love seeing all the sponsors that you got alongside this gorgeous number 35 machine. You're bringing them all to Peterborough. Thank them right now through the magic of YouTube. Um, AM Roofing, you know, uh, I work for them. It's been awesome. They, <laughs> they're pretty good with time off and let me, you know, they support the car, uh, Durfield Roof Fence. They're here tonight, and uh, they've been really awesome. They're second year with us too, and uh, we're gonna take represent them with two cars this year. Um, All Star Wings are a new sponsor this year. They've helped me out tremendously. Um, awesome, once again, awesome people, awesome wings, and uh, my parents. They they keep the cars looking good, and, and of course, Sean to streamline. Uh, I wouldn't be able to do the Pro Late Model deal if I didn't have him. He kind of takes some things off the shelves, let me use it, gives me you know some advice. He's been helping me out for a lot of years, and. Uh, and every year we come to the track, every year we go to Peterborough, he gives me a good piece. So are you going to have a lead up on your Twitter page, letting the fans know, you know, nights in the shop, parts going in, works going on in these cars. Are you going to have it all on Twitter so people can follow you? Yeah, we'll have it all up on t Twitter there at uh, Andy Camera 35. Um, and then uh, we wanted to run the Reynolds race. I don't have time. Just ended up buying a house, and so that takes up a bit of time. So uh, we're going to take two weeks and really get a couple cars ready to go, and uh, we'll take a good shot at her. And, uh, Hopefully you can finally get one in the bag this year. There you have it, Peter Rowe. He's bringing both cars. The Instant Classic, Andy Camrath. Make sure you're there. October 11th, 12th, and 13th. The crown jewel of the crown jewels in Ontario. If you don't come up for this one, you don't really love this short track race and stuff. We're going to be there. Make sure you're there. At Andy Camrath, 35. Instant Classic. At it's Spencer Lewis. Spencer Lewis Falls on Twitter. Peter Rowe Speedway. We're at